Charges coming for this man after tensions on the soccer field spill over into violence between parents and he pulls a gun. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks with the story of how this all happened. The confrontation started at the soccer field, spilled out into the parking lot, but rose to a whole new level when police say James Sherrill pulled out a gun. He's got a gun. Here at Pine Park, a packed Saturday. He's got a gun. Four words you'd never expect to hear. That gun pointed at her husband, Adam Eikenberry. A shock. Yeah, and especially in Fruitport. I mean, you don't hear of that in a, at a kid's soccer game. Police say Jane Cheryl had the gun, and after getting involved in an argument between several parents at the field and the coaches, they say Eikenberry approached him about the language he was using in front of the kids. That's when Adam says Cheryl seemed to have snapped, pulling the gun, pointing it at him, and threatening to shoot. It was terrible, awful. I mean, to know that he had it right there on the field with our children, that is horrible. Minutes after the incident, Cheryl was here at Fruitport Public Safety to report the incident himself. Police say the man was acting as the assistant coach. The Fruitport Soccer Club says Cheryl was not. He was merely a parent helping out for a few minutes. He's fantastic with the children, and I just want people to know he's a fantastic guy. It's just an unfortunate situation. At his home, a man that fits Mr. Sherrill's description, frees it. There he is, cutting the grass. When we asked for comment, he turned off the mower and went inside. While the league representative says he's fantastic, Miss Eikenberry disagrees. I don't know why they're backing this guy. It was terrible, awful. I mean, to know that he had it right there on the field with our children, that is horrible. Where the guy pulled the gun at and where my husband was standing, if he would have shot the gun and missed my husband, there was a whole park full of kids right there. Police arrested Cheryl on felonious assault charges, a four-year penalty as a maximum sentence. This afternoon, mowing, the man that appears to be Mr. Cheryl had no comment. And he may have been able to walk away from us, but likely won't walk away from these charges. He'll be formally charged in court later this month. Reporting in Fruitport Township, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8.